that corner, fake like you're the judges, go out that last entrance there, go downstairs. And gentlemen, our second couple this evening, dancing, waltzing, to all the games by Jody Preston, please do a warm welcome to Amanda Lothart and Frank Grosso. Ladies and gentlemen, it's five minutes until showtime. Five minutes until showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Watersmith Theatre, Rickmansworth. Here we are at Strictly Calm Hospice 2, and we open our show this evening, ladies and gentlemen, with a performance by the Collective Dance Performing Arts School and College, Rickmansworth. The George Benson's on Broadway! Yes, I, I like what you did. You look 
like you would thoroughly enjoy this album. I was dancing with my garden to the Tennessee walls when an old friend I happened to see. To the pyramids they did was really inspiring. Thank you, sir.
a warm, warm welcome for all our contestants. The scores have been collated. The scores have been collated, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Right, so we'll find out. In third place, Sam Paddock and the next Brian and Couple number eight. And in second place, runners up this evening are Winnie Venga and Robert Tafima Bastia. In first place, Martin Duggan and Andrew Sanders. Great pleasure to introduce the Peace Hospice Chief Executive and Director of Patient Services, Sue Plummer. I'd like to thank you all for coming. It's been a fantastic evening. I'd like to thank our judges. I'd like to thank Linda, Ron, Natalie, and Malcolm for their time and their effort. They've done a really good job. There's lots of staff and volunteers here from the Peace Hospice. Very pleased that they come to support the event. They've enjoyed this evening, I'm sure, like I have. A special thank you to Alan and, and Nana for being our um, compares for this evening. Thank you. And a special thank you to Nikki. Nikki's our events organiser at Peace Hospice, and this is the second time we've done it, so thank you, Nikki. The winning contestants will be dancing Bad Boys by Alexandra Burr. <laughs>